Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I wanted to show you a very easy stitch. If you like to do a bag, a basket or a hat. It's very easy. One row repeat. That's it. Well, to have this look you have to work in uh, in rounds. You can uh, will change if you work this flat. So this is the other side of the work and this one is one side okay well with this you can chain any numbers of chains that you like yeah? and I'm gonna work with 6.0 millimeter crochet hook this yarn is quite thick okay so here I have the foundation single crochet so if you want, you can uh, chain only chains or you do whatever foundation uh, stitch you like to do. I have here 21 stitches. Yeah. Okay, so after we uh, finish chaining the, the stitches or the chains, in uh, with this one, with the foundation single crochet, I'm just going to go through this line, I'm going to pick up a loop and then I'm gonna twist this a little bit like that and then I'm gonna turn into a circle make sure that the the chain is not twisted yeah. and then we're gonna close this I'm gonna pull up a loop and then this loop I'm gonna pull through this one yeah. and then yarn over the hook and pull the yarn to the last two loops and then I'm gonna go to the first stitch right here and I'm gonna do a slip stitch then I'm gonna chain one and into the next stitch I'm gonna go through the next stitch I'm gonna pick up a loop and then I'm gonna go back to the to the stitch that we just join into a circle and I'm gonna pull up a loop and then pass the yarn through these three loops and this is how we're gonna work this uh, this stitch move to the next stitch you're gonna pull up a loop then you're gonna go back to the last stitch that you worked in there and pull up a loop you have three loops pull the yarn through these three loops and we're gonna move to the next stitch pick up a loop then we're gonna go back to the stitch that we worked before pull up a loop, three loops, pull the yarn through all three loops so you move to the next stitch you're gonna pull up a loop and you're gonna go back to this stitch that you worked before yeah. so now we're gonna go back to the stitch that we worked you're gonna pull up a loop, three loops, pull the yarn through all three loops like this and we're gonna go back to the stitch that we worked pull up a loop pull the yarn through all three loops and it's gonna look like this it's a very easy stitch one row repeat this is all you have to do but I think this one is gonna look nice if you use a thick yarn with a thinner well it's gonna look much uh, much thinner this uh, these things so you go back to the stitch that you worked before last anyway move to the next stitch and you're gonna go back to the stitch that you worked pull up a loop three loops pull the yarn through all three loops move to the next stitch and so on and it helps if you pull this a little bit higher that will give you enough mobility to, to go back into the last stitch that you worked and go back to the stitch that you worked previous and so on so you move to the next stitch 
it's a very easy simple stitch but this one is going to eat some uh, some yarn and I think for a hat or a bag it's not going to take that much well now it depends how big you want the, the bag to be you can do an infi infinity scarf with this this stitch <coughs> you can do so many things so you go back to the stitch previous that you worked and you go back and you move to the next stitch and so on if you want this to be a little bit uh, bigger for example you can go into the for example you go into the next stitch pick up a loop and then you can put the yarn over and go back into the last stitch if you want and that's going to be a little bit bigger and fluffier yeah. so I like to, to keep the tail and I'm not hiding just to make sure where I am where for example if you want to change uh, colors And with this stitch, I don't chain one, I don't slip stitch, I don't do anything. So I just go on and on and on and on. So right here we are at the end. And instead of chaining or slip stitch to join the... I'm not going to I'm not gonna do that. So I'm going to move to the next stitch. I'm going to pull up a loop. I'm going to move to the back stitch that, last, that we worked. I'm going to do the same. Yeah? So you have here, you go again and so on but it's good to know like here that uh, you know if you want to change colors I'm gonna go back into the stitch that I worked past move to the next stitch and so on you just work on and on and on until you finish your work, depends what you're doing. So you move to the next stitch, you go back to the last stitch that you worked, and well it has a cute look, this, this one. Keep doing like this. And you can do this as uh, high as you like, you know, these uh, loops when you pull them, or shorter if you like. But I think this one will look nice if you work, for example, a basket. I don't know the material, the, it looks like, um, how you say? Well, I like to say that. Like a shoe strings or whatever whatever that material is for a basket or a bag to be sturdy and if you work with um, it's gonna be uh, with a how do you say with a yarn thicker it's gonna look much tighter not so you're not going to see quite through it. I just want to reach the end and then show you. You're just going to work this on and on and on. You're not going to chain, uh, you know, slip stitch and then chain one or whatever. You're just going to go on and on and on. But it's good to have the, the tail or you put a marker in case you want to, to change colors with this stitch then you know exactly when you start uh, the new new row hmm? what am I now? here oh, I did too so you see, here is the tail, so in here I have to, you know, change for example, to change the color, 
So now you pass the new color right now, and then you pull the, the new color. So what you do, you just go on and on and on without slip stitch, without chaining one more. Yeah. And it looks like like this. So this is the the back. Yeah, this is the back. But when you're gonna flip this, if you flip it like this, it's gonna be like this. I did two in here. Yeah, you have to pay attention with this one. Make sure that you go into the next stitch and not through the same stitch. Yeah. It looks like this, the stitch. Well, give it a try. You might uh, like it. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.